Hello friends, and welcome to my channel. The steady growth in the number of electronic, electrical and electromechanical functions in cars, has given rise to many innovations in the design and operation of automotive power systems. Advanced driver assistance system and advanced automotive applications, are evolving and increasing in complexity. In order to keep up with the changes, we should implement intelligent fuses and smart high side and low side switches, in our hardware designs to save space, protect against reverse current, over, under voltage, and increase flexibility. Intelligent switches are designed to control a wide variety of loads, in automotive and industrial systems. With the evolution of automotive applications, the performance required of switching devices is also changing. Advanced power devices with built-in intelligence, such as self-protection and diagnostic functions, are changing the traditional automotive switches. Today, the automotive industry is undergoing unprecedented upheavals, requiring exponential growth in installed technologies with high computing power, network complexity, efficiency and safety for the new generation of cars. Such a radical change, is accompanied by an equally radical change, in the electrical, electronic architecture of the car, with optimized topologies, redundancies and multiple energy sources. In this scenario, electronic fuses play a key role, as they are indispensable for optimizing the power distribution architecture, and meeting the new safety objectives of vehicle systems. In the past, the electrical distribution box was constructed with relays and fuses. The only function was to connect and disconnect the battery with the loads and modules. To replace defective relays or fuses, the box had to be installed in easily accessible areas of the vehicle. Today, the technology and concept of the power distribution box, is evolving towards a body control module, or electronic control unit, where relays and fuses were replaced by semiconductors two decades ago. Replacing the relays in a power distribution box with semiconductors, and adding intelligence through a microcontroller, has the great advantage of integrating new functions, for the power distribution box, like power, communication, control and actuation. Furthermore, the need for accessibility is eliminated, thanks to the newly improved protection, and reliability of the components. Finally, an important advantage of such an intelligent power distribution box, is the wiring harness. By integrating several functions and optimizing its position in the vehicle, the wiring harness can be shorter, thinner and less complex. The current hardware design of power distribution systems, requires a set of high and low switches with detection, diagnostic and protection functions. In electronics and power electronics for vehicles, MOSFETs and IGBTs are mainly used. The power MOSFET, is the most common power semiconductor device in the world, due to its low gate drive power and fast switching speed. The IGBT is a combination of BJT, and MOSFET. Produce a high current drive input, for the gate of a high power transistor, such as an IGBT or power MOSFET, from a low power input like controller IC, we need a gate driver, gate drivers, to control the MOSFETs and IGBTs. What is that? This is an interface between signal processing like microcontrollers, and the power switch. The logic level MOSFETs, has a low gate threshold voltage, allowing to be driven at 5 volts or 3.3 volts, and directly from microcontrollers. The MOSFET gate threshold voltage, is the voltage between the gate and source, that is needed to turn on the MOSFET. In other words, if VGS is at least as high as the threshold voltage, the MOSFET turns on. The issue of providing appropriate gate voltage, is addressed by using a gate driver, that does the job of a level shifter. A circuit, used to translate signals from one logic level, or a voltage domain to another. The structure of an power MOSFET, is such that the gate forms a non-linear capacitor. Charging the gate capacitor turns the power device on, and allows current flow between its drain and source terminals, while discharging it turns the device off, and a large voltage, may then be blocked across the drain and source terminals. The gate of a MOSFET can be considered to be a capacitance. The gate voltage of a MOSFET does not increase, 
unless its gate input capacitance is charged, and the MOSFET does not turn on, until its gate voltage reaches the gate threshold voltage. The gate threshold voltage of a MOSFET, is defined as the minimum gate bias, required for creating a conduction channel, between its source and drain regions. In considering a drive circuit and a drive current, the gate charge of a MOSFET, is more important than its capacitances. This gate driver IC, will almost always have additional internal circuits for greater functionality, but it primarily works as a power amplifier and a level shifter. Now, there is at least one more restriction, in fact the voltage must also remain within certain limits, that is the amount of UGS or the amount of UGE, must typically be less than plus minus 20 volts or 18 volts. But we are not allowed, to operate the gate oxide and breakdown at this point. Otherwise the power switch, will be destroyed. This is another task which the driver has. There are also other requirements for drivers. We may have additional monitoring functions here, for example overcurrent detection, which means we want to detect or measure, if there is too much current in the component, we switch it off. To protect ourselves from overload. It is also possible that we monitor the supply voltage, that is we have the so-called under voltage lockout. We want to see if the driver supply voltage is not there, that we do not try to switch on the MOSFET when the voltage is too low. These are the main tasks of these driver circuits. And now, we want to have a look at some driver circuits. But before we do that, we have to clarify one thing, one definition and that is the distinction, between so-called high side and low side switches. There are two types of power circuits, or applications of power semiconductors, and these are either, the application as high side switch or as low side switch. Low side switching connects the load to ground. Low side switch, is the term used because once the switch turns on, it will connect the load to the circuit ground to complete the current path. A load is not limited to resistors, it can also an inductive such as relay or motors. These devices provide load control switching, to ground, low side, for resistive and inductive loads. Each type of circuit required a different driver circuit for control due to the different gate voltages. For low side switch and then channel MOSFET can be used with a normal drain circuit. The gate driver must supply a voltage of about 10 volts, to make the MOSFET fully conductive. The disadvantage of this type of wiring is that if the MOSFET is destroyed, the load voltage is still applied to the load and is not interrupted. This represents a safety risk, which is not allowed in many applications systems employing high side switching, the switch is inserted between the positive power line and the load. High side switching is the preferred switching technique in situations, where short circuits to ground are likelier to occur, than short circuits to the positive power line. Think for instance of cars or machines where most of the structure, or body is connected to ground. In such cases it is safer, to disconnect the load from the battery, than from ground. Also, in humid environments, this usually results in less connector corrosion, as the load carries no voltage in the off state. The problem with this circuit, is that the gate voltage of the MOSFET, must be operated with a 10 volts higher gate voltage, than the switching voltage. One could take a P-channel MOSFET, to continue to operate with a low gate voltage. But because the P-channel MOSFET is more expensive, and has poorer characteristics than an N-channel MOSFET, Often an N-channel MOSFET is still used, resulting in additional circuitry complexity. The reason for the high voltage, is that the switching voltage potential is present at the source contact, when the power is off, and in order to make the MOSFET conductive, the gate voltage must be approximately 10 volts higher, than the source potential. Remedies to solve the problem and to use an N-channel MOSFET, are for example bootstrap driver circuits or a driver circuit with potential separation. A simplified high side low side driver solution is illustrated. The high side low side driver is a special IC, designed to produce the necessary gate drive signals, to the output devices. Such an IC has two channels, one for each output device. One channel is ground referenced and the other is floating. 
it's important to note that it requires a bootstrap BIOS supply. Also, isolation is usually provided by a digital isolator IC, that uses capacitive coupling stages for the isolation barrier. That was a short introduction to electronic fuses. In the next videos we will take a closer look, at how these drivers function, dimension and simulate as discrete circuits. After that we can also look at their safety functions, so that we are able to select them as integrated circuits, and integrate to our hardware design. Thanks for your attention, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.